It is Friday, guys. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Excuse me, Thanksgiving. Halloween, let's say. This is this one is about Thanksgiving, even though I did that. Anyway, so we just did we just posted the other day our uh, our kind of um, Haunted Mansion video. And I'll tell you what, man, it was interesting. We had quad tires going flat and the battery going dead on the truck and yeah, I, that was all me. It was all me. Uh, all of it was my fault. Um, then we kind of missing uh, connections going up and down the mountain, and I walked out. And it, uh, anyway, it was it was crazy. But I'm hoping it was worth it. I hope you guys will like it. We we got a lot of um, cool response from it. It was uh, it was an adventure. That is for sure. So we are moving on with this sign. We're going to try and get this done today. I'm hoping that we will. Um, it's a little brisk in case you hadn't noticed. I'm hoping that I'm wearing the, the lav mic so hopefully the sound will be okay. Um, but what I've, I've got everything done on here. So far everything that I've done is uh, with the profile bit. So here's my plan with this thing. Um, I got all the profiling done, and now what I'm going to do is use a 60 degree bit and go back and do these um, veins on the leaves, and then I'll, uh, we'll just take it one step at a time, but this will all be cut away. This will all be background back here. By the way, in case you guys didn't see the other video, this is a giveaway. We're actually going to do a, a, a drawing sometime in the next few weeks and uh, give this away to one of you guys. Um, so I guess... Uh, enough talking. Let's get into ripping. Ah. Oh, got to open that up. I'm actually going to carve with my stocking cap on, my beanie, because my dome gets a little chilly in these, uh, in this kind of weather. Ah. Except. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I think I'm set. Let's do this. I don't know where I'm at depth-wise. I think I'm okay. I think I got them all. Yeah. Okay, so in case you guys didn't see, I was, in order to get that sharp point, I was actually starting up and then bringing it down. So I was just moving the router where I have the base up on one side, starting my point and then moving down. And that's, uh, so, but you can do it either way. You can start down and then move your way up. So let's, uh, I'm going to pull all of this vinyl off of here now. Now that all my carving is done, I want to get down to bare wood and see where I'm at. And sometimes the vinyl comes off easy, and sometimes it doesn't come off so quite so easy. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to do this off camera. When we come back, I'll have all this vinyl off here, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, got all the vinyl off there, or pretty much all the vinyl that needs to be off. The rest of it's going to all get cut away. So now what I'm doing is making sure that I go through, because it's kind of confusing at this point, that I'm going to go through, and I'm going to mark all of this stuff. That is going to get cut away. This piece here, which is brown on here, that piece is going to remain wood. And then everything inside of that is going to be cut away, except for the letters, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through here. 
and uh, make sure that I got all the stuff marked that I want to cut away. So I'll take a few minutes and do that and then we'll be right back. Okay, so let it, let's get that background taken out of there. So I think I've got pretty much everything marked that I want gone. Um, so now I'll, uh, I've got the 90 bit in. Now most of the time, I, I've talked in the past about using the, when you're using the 90 degree bit because you're taking out a lot of wood to use the bigger router, but more and more, you know, I'm learning that these little 611s, they do so much work. Um, and uh, so I, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to overwork them too much, but um, I am going to use uh, the 611, and I'm using my little 90 degree V groove in there for my background. So let's do it. Let's uh, plug it in first. Yeah, that'll work better. All right, here we go. By the way, guys, one thing I wanted to mention, I, I do this kind of just naturally, but when I have a, a small space like that, I don't really want to make a circular motion um, because it'd be a lot of chance of hitting the edge. So I just do exactly what I was just doing there. It still leaves a nice little texture in there and you don't, uh, you don't take risk the, um, the chance of hitting the edge, as much anyway. By the way guys, just a little disclaimer. You saw me at one point actually take both my hands off the router. Um, I don't rec recommend that unless you're really, really comfortable with the router. I've done that for years and what I found is I would never do that here. But if I make, if I'm, if I'm in a brand new spot and I'll, I'll just demonstrate for a second here. What I found out a long time ago, if, if you're in a spot like that, you can't, and what I, what I was doing is actually just wiping off the dust off my lenses. Um, so you can get away with it, but unless you're super comfortable with the router, I don't recommend that. So that's just kind of a, probably not a good thing to actually show on camera, but it does actually work. Once you get, and I never take my eyes off of the router at the same time. If I've got my hands off the router, at least I'm always looking at the router, seeing what it's doing, so I can always grab it and, uh, and you know, keep it from, uh, from doing any damage to the sign or, uh, or anything else. Anyway, just a little disclaimer.
right, guys, I think you can kind of get an idea of um, what I'm doing there. So let me get some of that, that sawdust off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this background here and try to avoid hitting a letter. And um, then we'll come back and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so we got all of the background done. All the carving actually is done uh, with the exception of the shape. I'm actually gonna cut this shape out. But what I'm doing now is I'm just brushing with my stiff bristle brush and um, getting all that loose stuff out of there and then taking out any high spots. However, um, normally, here's the thing, is with Vicky's input, thank gosh she gives me input, <laughs> yes. Um, so the queen thinks that I ought to leave the background wood color and basically just emulate this. And I tend to agree with her. I was gonna make the background black, but since I'm gonna make the background, leave the background wood color and paint the letters to match these, then um, I don't have to worry too much about high spots. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna brush it really, really good. And um, then we're gonna come back and we'll cut our shape. All right, guys, it's time to cut this shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut the shape um, where, the, where my outside line is here. So I've, I've taken in my board here and I've basically stuck it to a sacrifice piece. This is just a piece of MDF. So I used my uh, strip adhesive, my, um, the scotch stuff here, and I, I didn't show that on camera, but go back and watch LTS 72818, and I show how I use this stuff. So what I did was I stuck it here, and I pressed down really good on it, and then what I also did was um, use this clamp, and what, I, what this does is it helps it, and I just clamp it down in a few areas, and that helps that adhesive uh, grab hold. So I did that all the way around. Anyway, I wanted to show that. So now what we're gonna do, move this stuff out of the way, we are gonna cut this out. So I'm using the bigger 618 router. I think this is two and a half horse. I've got it already set to cut all the way through my board. This is the spiral upcut bit that, uh, that I cut my shapes out with. Now I'm gonna, uh, once the router starts up and it starts um, going, I'll cut the volume down on that particular part of the video. Um, but you definitely, if you're going to do this, Vicki and I are both going to wear ear protection. Um, you guys know me probably well enough that I don't do that as often as most people do. I don't use ear protection that much. Um, but when I'm doing something like this, I definitely do because this thing chatters and clatters like crazy. So. Got my ear protection on, got my eyes, and we are going to cut this out. I think I'll start here. Again, like I say, I've already set the depth. So I'm just barely cutting through this board. Let's see what happens here.
baby. That creates a lot of sawdust. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. When I get, when I know I'm getting, and I've got most of it cut loose, um, fortunately the tape actually held really well. I, it held actually better than I thought it would. Um, but I always kind of keep track and have my, you can see if you watch, go back and watch, you'll see I put a little extra pressure with my arm on this so that when it does break loose or it gets close, then, um, then I'm kind of, yeah, I know, <laughs> I'm yelling. Then I, it kind of will hold it in place for me, my arm there. Yeah, that adhesive really held well. Yeah, sawdust crazy, sawdust nuts. Anyway, there it is. I, you know, I, and I, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll kind of smooth some of this out with my little spindle sander. But um, that's my favorite way to cut shapes out. I, you know, you have to get it, the setup right. But here you can see, I don't know, you'll probably be able to see I had several strips of adhesive on there, but it held, uh, it held really, really good. All right, guys, that's it for that. Um, we'll come back and move on to the next step. Hey guys, all right, so we're going long again on this video, so I'm going to leave it right there. We're going to finish this thing up on Monday. I'll, uh, what? Well, I'm trying to zoom oh. So I'm going to smooth up the edge, probably with my spindle sander and my little micro zip, uh, which I don't have right here. Anyway, yeah, the little micro zip. I'll smooth all of this up, take all of my loose stuff out, um, and then on Monday, we'll come back and uh, we'll get this thing sprayed and finished and painted. And that'll all happen on Monday's video. So in the meantime, thanks again, guys. Um, you know, and I was thinking as I'm carving this, I have a lot of time to think when I'm carving. Um, this sign is so apropos, apropos, because I don't say it often enough how much, how grateful that I am that we are, that you guys take your time and watch what we do. I know you guys send, I get emails how grateful that you are that we do what we do, but I'm telling you, there's no way you're grateful as grateful as we are for you guys taking, I don't, and if it's a minute out of your day to watch what we're doing, I, I, I'm still blown away by it. So I just want to say thank you again, guys. Uh, we love you all. If you have any questions at all, please email me directly, eric at makerwoodsign.com. I'm always happy to answer questions. So if you guys have questions, maybe you're new to the channel and you don't know quite what's going on, where, and, and um, it just, it just shoot me an email. I'm happy to answer. That's, that's what I spend a lot of my early mornings doing. So if you have questions for Vicki, it's Vicki with, Vicki with Dave Signs at gmail.com. Had to think about it there for a second. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. We love you all, and we will see you on Monday. We'll get this thing all wrapped up. Bye-bye.